It's, listen, it might be nothing. It might be, but I mean, you guys are, I've already gotten 40 DMs this morning about it. So obviously we are gonna talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We got some YouTube golf news to, to, to go over. But before we go any farther in today's video, I have to give a shout out to the sponsor, my homies over at Rivet Towel. You guys have heard about them before. As you can see, I have this one just on the go. I keep it right here on my fridge, which is right by the front door, so that when I walk out to go play golf, I can just take it off, I can stick it onto my clubs. This magnetic attachment is so handy if you play cart golf, but even if you're not, it sticks right on there. The towels are all interchangeable, and right now, they are offering you guys a buy one get one sale so you can buy one towel you get a second one for free all you have to do is go to the website put two towels in your cart and use my code NEGOLF at checkout that's going to be linked down below NEGOLF buy one get one towels they're awesome you need towels stock up for summer it's a great company it's a great brand go check them out rivet linked below back to the video this feels like just an OG vid, you know, just an OG little bit of, little bit of tea, a little bit of hot tea, a little bit of YouTube golf, a little bit of, hmm, what's that? And we're gonna talk about it. I'm here to bring you guys the information you need to know. Let's start, first of all, Masters Tournament just ended. I mean, listen, last time I played clips uh, from a PGA Tour event, the video got, uh, I got no, they got the copyrighted, so I can't show you any clips, but what I can show you is the leaderboard here, which you probably already saw. I know this is a YouTube golf channel, but Scotty Scheffler, oh my God. Goodness. this guy is just an absolute legend ludwig oberg absolute stellar performance that was almost cooler to me than scotty winning like scotty's dominance is great but seeing him come in first major oh my goodness i'm also a homosexual and i'm a huge fan of this guy and seeing him come in t third what i think his best finish in a major i with colin moore coward tommy fleet with two other studs it was a very good masters if you're a golf fan i think if you weren't a golf fan it probably lacked a little bit of the juice you probably want a bit more drama scotty kind of ran away with it on the back nine i mean it was really tight on like 10 but you know after colin hit it in the water and whatever like it kind of kind of got away from them but if you're a golf fan seeing scotty's dominance is elite but anyways we're a youtube golf channel so let's go to youtube golf we got golf bitter videos back peter versus rick golf bitter challenge 500 pounds they each get a set of golf clubs they play each other this is one of the oh i don't want to say the oldest standing series on youtube but it's definitely one of like if you rank the oldest standing series with like the most popular standing series i think it wins there i think it's definitely like one of the most like culty beloved series on youtube their videos last year i think got like a million plus views on this when they had kind of not filmed together for a long time before that so it is really cool to see that. Pete, I've just been loving, by the way. Let's just say that. I mean, I love the guy as it is, but he was in the States. He filmed a bunch with the Brian Bros at their course. Also, this is kind of funny. This is not just Peter Finch, but this thumbnail right here, this Tobacco Road thumbnail. And then if you look at the recent GM golf videos, there was a thumbnail. Uh, which one? Right, da, 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 da. right here, the Olympic Club. These thumbnails look an awful lot like a certain uh, now ex Good Good members thumbnails, which is kind of funny. Luke, I feel like his, he, all, all his thumbnails look like this. He always does this, the back with the tracer. And I feel like people are like, look, Brad did the Masters one. I feel like people are kind of starting to catch on to that. So very interesting. Also, I wasn't going to talk about this, but it popped up right here. There's the match with uh, Ben Cooper Golf and DoD King. Obviously, I have not watched it yet. They released it on Sunday at the Masters, which to me is kind of a crazy move. But I mean, it got views. So I don't know. I guess people uh, don't care about pro golf. So whatever. Anyways, that's kind of that news. Um, what I want to really focus on today, talk about today, these guys, Grant and Micah, they both signed with Primo after leaving Good Good about a year ago. And Grant, as his contract likely came up, announced that he is an official owner of Primo Golf. So he moved from just being a sponsored athlete to now having an ownership stake in an apparel company, which has always been a dream of his, and it's finally come true. So obviously this was something that was announced a couple weeks ago. We already talked about it. So he's staying with Primo and even more than staying with them, he's now signed as an owner. Very interesting. But his deal likely was very similar in length, in term, in start date and end date to Micah's, which would make sense. They both left Gigid at the same time. Seemingly both started wearing Primo at the same time. They both have the same manager. So that makes sense. However, Micah has not re-signed with Primo. Micah announced this morning on his Instagram that he is now a bad birdie athlete i guess you would say he's uh, i don't know what you would call it but he is signed with bad birdie golf which is quite a large golf brand it is one that you see in a lot of golf pro shops uh you see it at uh, i guess in the states it would be like golf galaxy or whatever they have them at golf town in canada it's an expressive golf brand i guess would be my description they have a lot of very like 
out their prints and and just like their whole mo is kind of a bit more i'd say like bob does sportsy which at face value makes the collab kind of interesting but i do think they also have a couple pga tour players actually in fact i think right here that's a pit yeah right there so i mean see who can be bad birdie so like that's great it's not just i guess the really loud and outlandish stuff and i mean even now looking at this like yeah, maybe they are going in more of a simple direction anyways i'm not here to review another apparel company good get apparel shop good get golf.com linked in description best apparel in the world but bad never looked so good okay that might be part of the controversy but the controversy really starts with that's wild gm golf so listen this could be a whole nothing burger it very well could be i try to be very i don't um you know if something like this happens and i get 40 dms i'm gonna talk about it that's this is my job but i still try to do my best to not like push a narrative for the sake of it because like obviously if i was to be like for sure this is garrett throwing shade like that would be more controversial and probably get more views and whatever i'm not saying that it could just be you know that's wild cool good for you but i don't know something about the the wording the bad never looks so good interesting that's wild gm golf i mean obviously we had the sunday match thing a long 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 time ago with the lol comment but i mean listen garrett went to grant's wedding and michael was there and then they did the the Googie desert open and so i don't know we've seen them together i feel like the days of just like speculating on every little thing are probably over but this one again it's just you know from good to bad two words <laughs> i mean the comments are funny the comments are good overall in, in micah's comment section it's a lot of sport i mean this is a co-post with bad birdie but i mean that's great i think for him i've personally enjoyed a lot of what mike has been doing recently but i'm just curious i don't know like curiosity would be like if there was some i don't know weird thing between bad birdie and and uh like gm golf or good good i don't know but that's wild i just don't really get it because micah didn't announce that he was like an owner it was just like he's uh, sponsored by them so it's not that wide like you know we're all sponsored by apparel companies if you're a youtube golfer and you get x amount of views you're gonna have an apparel sponsor it's pretty normal there's so many golf apparel companies and this is one of them i don't know maybe he's just saying that's wild that he flew in on a helicopter but i kind of think it might be the bad never looks so good something about that wording maybe i'm not even seeing it i don't know Anyways, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below, guys. That's kind of just a quick little hit of news on a Monday because we haven't had anything like this in a little while. And listen, when you get to send me 40 DMs and it's all you guys want to hear about in the first 10 seconds of a day, oh yeah, bad birdie athletes. Is it right there? Interesting. I'm going to talk about it because that's what I do here. But let me know your thoughts on it all in the comments below. That's the news. I'll see you in the next one.